Yo, what's up, you two? I'm back again with another video. And uh, this time, it's on a shoe. This is our Nike Air Max Diamond Firewire. Flywire. And um, I just want to give you, you guys a little overview on them. And what it look like. They look pretty good, but to me, these are not the best design ones. I don't like the fact that the whole sole is made out of that clear plastic stuff, which these here are made kind of more sorrier, in my opinion. Uh, to me, the best design ones are the 90s and the 95 regular. I think these are uh, Air Max 95 diameter. Flywire. That's what these are. They look all right, man, but... Got a Nike Air Mat logo right there. They look pretty good and everything, but I just don't think they really that strong about for us holding up as well. And you know, check them out. You can see them pretty good. They just, I don't know, man. Check that the Air Max logo right there on the tongue. These ain't none of my favorite tight ones, you know. Um, I don't know. It just, I'm a little skeptical of the, the air piece right here. Now, if it, if it were just part of this shoe, was like that's it that's that little part right there like they normally do on some of them with just the air bubble i would probably accept this shoe but the whole entire sole is an air bubble you know that's the downside of this shoe if, if this shoe pop you know with the bubble pop on this shoe basically the whole shoe is ruined um I think they should left a regular sole on these. And, um, that is my opinion of it. But don't get me wrong, though. It's a good looking shoe. I think these retail anywhere from 150 to like 200 bucks, depending on where you get them. Um, they're some pretty expensive shoes, though. And, like I said, these are the Diamond Flywire Nike Air Max. And like I said, it retail anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks easily. But like I said, man, I just, as you can see in the mirror, it's a good looking shoe right there. I just don't like the fact about that, that whole, the whole entire soul is an air bubble. I mean, that thing get weak and pop. The whole entire shoe is ruined. That's the only, only downside about this shoe. Overall, though, like I said, I will say it's a good looking shoe. It's comfortable. It's just the air bubble. That's where the soles look under the bottom right there. It's just this air bubble, man, thing right here. I think they should just done something left a little part. Of the air bubble like they did on the 90s version. Uh, that's just my opinion of it, you know. I'm pretty sure some of you guys like uh, women or whatever, you know. I'm pretty sure some of y'all like the um, the whole bubble uh, sole design. But you got to look at it. If that thing pop, it's just somewhere up in here or something. Or pop right up in here or something like that. That whole shoe is basically ruined. Um, it's more of a wrist, you know, I know they try to make them look as flashy and as sporty and cool as they can, but I think what they should have did with this one is made this a whole firm sole right up in this area, and they should just put the air piece, they should have made this firm, and just put a little piece of air, a little air piece up in there like they normally do, just a little small air area, because... Uh, this whole shoe is is 
plastic like this right here. Look at, watch the how it match right in. You see that, guys? Look at that. I thing ain't made out of nothing. Look at that. Y'all see how soft that stuff is, right? Now, if you do a lot of jumping and balling or running, and I mean, that's true. That little soft plastic ain't going to take a whole lot. No, that's what only the downside design about these. And I've seen people with these particular ones having problems with the bubble busting on them. And then they charge you all that money for them. You know, that's the downside. You know, they charge you anywhere from $150 to $200 or more. Some of them going up to $250, you know, for the same particular shoe. Because this is a rare color. And, um... You know, you're paying that much for something that got a a pole sole like this. It's mashing in this easy like that. If I could just mash it in like this with my fingers, you can imagine how it is with anybody weight get on. I don't care if you don't weigh about 100 pounds. You know, you wearing 100 pounds and you stepping on this thing. Uh, let's forget about 200 and some pounds. You know, if you don't weigh about 90 to 100 pounds and you stepping on this thing like this, and the little thing, the thing mashing in like that, it's still at high risk to me. Um, that bubble get weaker and weaker every time you step on it. That's the downside of this shoe, but it's a good looking shoe. Just a bit pricey for the quality wise, in my opinion. But um, it looks good though, guys. But um, y'all comment below, some of y'all that got these. And let me know if y'all had problem on the bubbles on these. Because it feel like they do, in my opinion. I'm not for sure. But um, overall, you know, a great looking shoe. Just uh, doesn't stand up to the quality that I would like. In my opinion, I'd rather have the 90s. The Nike Air Max 90s, you know, over these. Because I like just the little air bubble. Not this whole soul thing going on. Alright. <laughs> That's just my opinion now. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I want to thank all my viewers and my subscribers for watching my videos. And, guys, in the negative comments, you know, we just got to block you out. Post your comments below if you know a lot about the Nike Air Max Diamond Flywire. Um, there's some good looking shoes, but I just don't think quality is there, especially in this sole right here. Alright. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little this like I said, Nike Air Mat Diamond Flywire review. And until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out, YouTube.